Thanks for your video, Snow. Um, a question that I have regarding evolution, and, and I, I do believe in, in some elements of evolution, and yes, I think you can believe in it. There is no concrete, absolute proof uh, of evolution for us to say absolutely that it occurred. And w for help, if you want to help me, somebody that's a naysayer that's watching this video, um, with evolution, the assumption is that eventually a creature, uh, in this case a banana, as Rabbit Ape had used in a response video to you, uh, as it reached the stage to come closer to becoming a human, and doesn't that almost make you laugh? But um, <laughs> it had to get a certain change in its DNA so that it could replicate itself and continue, and in essence, give birth to a new form, which is fine, but if and I'm looking for this answer from evolutionists, diehard evolutionists, particularly or atheists. Um, not only does the single banana have to have that to get that mutation, uh, in this case, let's view the banana as through millions of years developing a penis. Through millions of years, another banana had to develop a vagina. And at least through my understanding, then at that point, they randomly meet those. Uh, fortunate bananas and they mate and then they create fortunately through their new DNA a couple of banana babies who had the old no penis no vagina and then uh, fortunately f created another one that had a penis and then thousands of miles away another banana fortunately had the same defect of a penis and was able to mate with one of the the daughters of or rather vagina carriers, banana, of uh, the, the bananas that I started with. Sounds silly. I mean, what I'm looking for is a an explanation as to how, because really what evolution says, in my view, is that the defect doesn't just occur once, and it doesn't just occur over millions of years. It, co it, it occurs over millions of years, but it occurs multiple times. The same problem. And through natural selection and just millions and billions of years, these opposing bananas thousands and thousands of miles away are able to somehow meet and mix up the gene pool. I don't know, just a, a concept that I'm looking for explanation because it seems YouTube is filled with uh, incredibly knowledgeable evolutionists who will be able to provide me with an interesting answer. And seriously, I'm looking for one. That's such a big hole to me in, a, in the co general concept of evolution, primarily that, not that I, I do believe in elements of, of evolution, I guess you can call them microevolution or whatever, I just have trouble taking the step from banana to human being, or even monkey to human being. So it, answer that question for me. And if you think about it, it goes even further, because we're not just talking penises and vaginas, we're talking penises that develop testicles that are able to develop sperm, that are able to develop fertilized eggs, but those eggs have to exist, so the random mutation had to create those eggs in the banana that ended up with a vagina. It is very, very complicated and very, very difficult to believe that it was, it was through the development of natural selection or through the development of mutation um, because these things had to exist, just like you could never have a human being who didn't have a heart uh, find, or two human beings that didn't have hearts to mate and develop a human being that had a heart, because you can't live uh, without a heart. Um, we've never seen creatures that didn't reach that level. In essence, what I, the point I'm making is there were things, very basic things, uh, there in a human being that had to exist um, always uh, in order to to replicate. I mean, replicate is so amazing, and uh, the DNA structure from Snow's video is so amazing. And it, it goes to the point that uh, as it relates to God and proof of there being a creator, I could see 50 years ago, folks, naysayers, atheists saying, oh yeah, prove to me that the human being is like some software program or something. Oh, and then DNA. So, even you put that in the face of folks saying, look, we actually have everything that's created has a software program that dictates. It's so clear to me that 
there is someone, something that created that, like a software program. I actually think that atheists are illogical on this point, and someone who the average person might consider a nut job who made a claim that we were, let's say, the uh, the abandoned robots of another species and a planet and a galaxy m light years away. Um, if somebody came out and said that, it makes a lot more sense considering DNA than the concept of evolution and the belief that this is all random and came out of nothing. Or that it existed forever. It just doesn't make sense, especially in a world where we have beginnings and ends, uh, but primarily beginnings. Having a beginning uh, in, for creation just makes logical sense, doesn't it? 